Hey guys, Apple has made it official. After seven betas, Apple has released iOS 12.4 to everyone worldwide. So if you're on iOS 12.3.1 or below, you can currently go to settings, general software updates, and you will see 12.4 populate on your device, which I am downloading right now for my iPhone 8. Uh, this one came in at approximately 400 and 12 megabytes for me because I'm coming from iOS 12.4 beta 7 to the official release. Uh, but for you, if you're coming from an official build like 12.3.1, this will overwrite the entire OS. Your download's gonna be approximately two and a half gigs or so. Uh, but again, that's gonna be overwriting the entire OS. So don't think that you're going to be losing that memory from your device. It's just overwriting. Now 12.4, again, released today to everyone worldwide. And as I mentioned before, this aims to bring Apple Card support to the iPhone and also 12.4 says goodbye to the old iPhone 5, iPhone 6 and 6 Plus. Now this could very well be the last major update for these devices and the keyword here is major. Apple goes back sometimes in patches and releases minor updates for older devices as well but I don't think we'll see any major updates coming to these devices any longer after 12.4. Now today's a perfect example of that. Today Apple has officially released iOS 9.3.6 Yes, 9.3.6 was officially released by Apple today for the iPad mini, the iPad third generation, as well as the iPhone 5 or 4S. Yes, the iPhone 4S received 9.3.6 today. This means Apple most likely found a major security issue within iOS 9.3.5 and had to update and patch that. This is one thing I always applaud about Apple. Even if your device does not run the latest versions of iOS, if there's a major security issue that puts your personal information at risk, Apple will go back and patch those just because it's the right thing to do. And I'm very happy to report that. Now, Apple also today released iOS 10.3.4. Yes, you're hearing me right. iOS 10.3.4 was released today by Apple as well. Now this one was released for the iPad fourth generation as well as the iPhone 5. So the iPhone 5 all models and iPad 4 all models received 10.3.4. This means Apple must found something that was critical that needed to be patched and that's why I say 12.4 could very well be the last major update for these iPhone. Now, with that being said, let's take a look at some of the release notes for iOS 12.4 here, and let's go over some of the information provided by Apple. As we see here, it says iPhone migration, introducing the ability to wirelessly transfer data from an old iPhone to a new iPhone. So every device running 12.4 will allow you to do this wirelessly from one device to another. So that's good. Now, Apple News also received a few updates in the improvements as well, the ability to clear the history with one single click. So just minor updates overall for the Apple News subscription service here as well. Now a major flaw within the walkie talkie application on watchOS, by the way, watchOS 5.3 was released today worldwide as well. So if you update to 12.4, I highly recommend updating your watch because this fix, a watchOS 5.3 fixes the walkie talkie application. Apple had discontinued that service temporarily until patching a major security vulnerability that would allow eavesdropping with the walkie talkie application and watch OS as well as iOS. So that issue has also been resolved here with this software updates. Now you might be asking, well, what was the Apple Card? Where is the Apple Card? Wasn't this software supposed to bring Apple Card support? Apple Card is nowhere to be found on this software. Now keep in mind, Apple has done this before. There's two scenarios here. Apple could be releasing iOS 12.4.1, a minor point update to enable Apple Card on the iPhones here in the near future, or Apple could release Apple Card support once the Apple Card is ready through the server side. So Apple can activate a switch and activate it on your device without a software update. This has happened before. Just because we don't see any signs of the Apple Card mentioned on the release notes, just because we don't see the Apple Card prompts on our devices does not mean it is not integrated within the software and Apple could activate it at any time server side. Again, this has happened before. Or again, as I mentioned the previous scenario, which Apple could release a 0.1 update, 12.4.1 for example, to release and activate Apple Card on all devices, including the true and old iPhone 5S, the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus. It's kind of sad to see these devices be left behind. I really enjoyed these devices when they were current, uh, but it is time. It is time for the future. So that's just 
just a quick update guys i will continue to test ios 12.4 and will continue uh, to give you guys more information again apple has just released it to everyone worldwide so if you're not on ios 13 and you want to run this software you can go ahead and update through settings if you're running ios 12 12.4 beta you can remove the beta profile restart your device and install 12.4 official and if you're on ios 13 and would like to go back to 12.4 official all you have to do is restore your device with itunes i'll leave some links down below for the ipas as well so i hope you guys enjoyed this quick update video thank you for watching goodbye iphone 6 6 plus and iphone 5s and i'll see you guys on the next one peace